Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And I'm starting my vlog today. And I just came out of Costco. You can see this stash behind me. Let me tell you, it's a stormy rainy Saturday and they brought the samples back. So it was a little rough going getting in the aisles to get the things I need and they were full on samples they had sales reps in there trying to sell stuff like I get it you're back in the game but oh I do miss the days of no samples when I could just freely walk through the store but I got some kimchi which I love I got some Cholula sauce some those right there keto turkey breakfast sandwiches I did get a keto ice cream to try um, the macros weren't too bad for me. I got my crackers and cheese. And that was it. Um, so yeah, let's get the heck out of Dodge, shall we? Oh, no, we're not going anywhere because there's a car behind me. Um, so that was fantastic. I got everything I needed. The only thing they didn't have that I needed is some carpet shampoo, like the spray foamy stuff. So I'll go to Target maybe tomorrow and pick that up so that I can um, clean up a little mess. I have, I think, the liquid spray that I can get out this afternoon. And yeah, so I'm going to get home. It's later in the day. It is almost 3 o'clock. Luna Lou is at my house, and I need to go home and take care of her. So let's get started and see what I can get into at the house because I'm not really going out much, although I might go to the gym later because I couldn't ride my bike today. But let's see. Okay, friends, we are home. I'm having an adult beverage. This is Mike's 100 calorie lemon, one gram of sugar spiked, Mike's hard lemonade in the sugar-free version. That was a mouthful. But I, I'm trying to put together my spending and my um, budget <laughs> for May and June. But unfortunately, things went a little awry. Um, with my paying down of debt. Now, I know I paid a thousand dollars on one bill. I don't have all my credit card stuff. I actually switched planners. And I've got to pull out my credit card sheets from the previous months. But um, let's see if I have what I got in July. So I switched up to a larger planner. This is my happy planner. But I went up a larger size. I do not have where I'm at. So we'll start fresh in July because May and June, unfortunately, we had some pretty high expenses that were not planned. So first thing we're going to do is go into my cash envelopes. I had some extra cash left over, but I have Christmas, technology, travel, and the pet one had $25 in it, but I need to take that out. Um, Alex had oral surgery on last, when did he have the oral, oral surgery? on the 13th of July and between his two appointments that put me back $1,300. So, I mean, it had to be done. He had some teeth that were bad uh, due to an autoimmune thing. I'll talk about that a little more in depth in a little while. But um, I only had $25 in there, but it's gonna come out and this will be some of my cash for the week. And I'm just, so I had to put that on a credit card, so I put it on the credit card that I've paid off. Also, um, I have, so that's my voice card. 
that has 1300 on it now. And my Kohl's, I bought my Ottoman, has 223 on it. So I haven't done a May and June recap because things have just been a little crazy around here. I am planning on putting out a video um, at where I'm starting in July because unfortunately, like I said, things kind of got a little out of control and they're gonna get a little more out of control. I have, um, I had to get an attorney. It's a probate thing from when my mom passed away. I just haven't dealt with. And it's just literally one process of getting her off the deed to my condo. There's no other probate that needs to happen, but that's an attorney fee that I need to take on. So I've kind of been a little stressed out the last two months. It's nothing I can't handle, but it just, you know, I was going to this process of trying to get things paid off and then having to backtrack a little bit. Uh, definitely put a crimp in my style. And if I'm in my office, this is what I have, these two. Can you say hi, buddy? And this is, for those who don't know, this is Wellington. He is my 14 year old little skinny mini and back there is Alex so I took them both in for an appointment to just have a checkup it's their yearly checkup time and that's when we found out about Alex's teeth Alex weighs 17 pounds guys 17 pounds crazy so I'm just in here putting together um, some budgeting I need to count this eh. 25, 30, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so I have $40 cash, which is great. That's just for gas, coffee, whatnot, just to put in my wallet. If I don't use it, I don't use it. Um, I did go grocery shopping today, and I'm also just trying to eat up with still like stuff in my freezer and stuff, things like that. But I'm putting together, or I will have together my May June recap of kind of where I'm at and then where we're starting July. So the halfway point, because I was down, my five month pay down from the first of the year was $4,894.82 of my debt I paid down. That number no longer works because I had to charge the dental bill for the cat, which I mean, it's fine. I'm not saying like it's a bad thing. You take care of your pets. I'm just saying it's a setback, if you will. So that's what I'm doing this evening. I am just trying to get my numbers together here so that I can have a comprehensive conversation with you for my May, June recap, which should be out like Wednesday, I think, um, on that and what my plan is gonna be moving forward for the rest of the year, which is still to pay debt down. Um, next week I will get, next week? This week coming up, I will get my YouTube revenue, my YouTube earnings, and I have a month, you know, a block of that set aside to pay the Kohl's charge, which was always the plan, because I knew I was charging, I wanted the 30% off, and I wanted the Kohl's cash, so, um, that was always the plan with the ottoman was to get at the coals after my furniture was delivered and pay that off so that'll happen on wednesday and then the rest i will send so my one of my big ones was my dental bill i had a high card with a bunch of dental work on it that's what i paid a thousand dollars on in july or in june it's down on a, or like around five hundred dollars so i'm just trying to knock that one out and work on the cat bill as well as my last credit card so kohl's will be gone the dental bill that i have i owe less than five hundred dollars so hopefully that will be gone in july and then really the dental bill which it is what it is, but I'm gonna start focusing on that other credit card. The dental bill I'll keep paying on, but I'm not, I wanna get this bigger card paid down. I'm not gonna backtrack. I've already paid the voice card off that I put this um, dental work on, and it has a lower interest rate, which is why I used that and not the card that I am getting ready to focus on. Hi, buddy. So 
my plan hasn't changed about getting my debt paid down. It's just a little bit of a setback. And then I will start um, building up the cat emergency fund, which I probably, I suppose, in hindsight, should have been focusing a little more. But I mean, to be honest with you, he's 14 and the only major medical, I mean, he has his physical every year. He gets, he just had a senior blood work. He's healthy and I've been very lucky with him. He does have asthma. So I had one medical bill for like $300 for blood work and x-rays. And now it's just maintenance and knowing my cat and when he gets sick. So I've been very lucky with him. Alex has always been an unknown because the first three years of his life was astray. So I don't know, you know, what his life was like. Now I know he's going to always have dental problems. And so I'm gonna, as soon as I get my debt paid off, I will be... Um, building up the cat emergency fund i would like that to sit at about 2000 because i feel like that will cover anything major that needs to happen with him you know may not have my pen sir that is not your pen no yeah you get down i also have luna tonight um that's my niece sarah's dog i actually have her today saturday so i have her saturday sunday monday tomorrow we're going on a bike ride my cousin and i and yeah, so I'm getting ready to do this and then I'm gonna get my book out and relax. And tomorrow afternoon, I think at like two o'clock, we're going for a bike ride. So I will bring you along with my morning coffee and things that I get done around here. But this moment, I'm pulling out all of my last bills and looking at where I, okay, let's not rub on that. Thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you. Um, Honey, nobody wants to see your butt either. Why don't you go lay down? He drives me nuts. This is what he does all day long when I'm working. Sometimes I have to shut him out. Hi, Luna. I show you tomorrow. We'll go for a walk. All right. I got to get to work here. I'll bring you along. Bye. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. And it is 9 o'clock. I'm just getting up. I was reading my book way too late last night making some coffee to go. I've got to run to Target for the boys' cat food. I get a lot of questions about my sweetener. I use Whole Earth. Aldi has a brand. It's uh, a version. It's called Sweet Sensation. Um, it's green in the box only. Don't get the bag. The bag is full of fillers. Like the baking blend has actual sugar in it and maltodextrin and dextrose and other really non appealing ingredients let's say that so what's on the agenda today kids so I have Luna I just fed her her breakfast oh and I use just plain old half and half and this coffee when I switch over to a non-flavored coffee because I've got two of those in the freezer I'll just use either Vanilla, this is Sweet Leaf brand. And this is just vanilla sweet drops. And literally, like that much will sweeten a whole cup of coffee. It's, it's very potent. Or I'll use like some skinny syrups. Again, not ideal ingredients, but a little bit on occasion won't hurt me. I mean, it might, but I don't know. So, the plan today, right, Looney Tunes? Come here, do you want me to pick you up and show you to my friends? Here, come here. Whoa. <laughs> this is the Luna Lou. My new girlfriend. Her mom, Sarah, is my niece, and she stays with me when Sarah has plans. Yes, I know. Um, because it's safe here and she likes the cats and the cats like her, sort of. They tolerate her. Yeah, they do. And you just love your kitties, don't you? Yes, you love your kitties. All right, so Luna's here till Monday, I believe. I know, sweetheart. And then, but today, gotta do a Dollar Tree haul, hence the lipstick. And, well, plus, you know, you should put on lipstick some mornings. Um, 
girl, get it together today. I'm going to Target this morning after I drink my coffee a little bit. They need cat food, kitty litter, treats. I need carpet cleaner for somebody, Wellington, who throws up on occasion, and he did the other day. It's a foam. I have the spray liquid, but the foam I think works better. So I need to get a can of, a can of the foaming carpet cleaner for spots for him. And it works great. I'm not gonna lie. And then I'm gonna run across the street to the Dollar Tree because again, my stores are not stocked very well and it's starting to get on my nerves. I understand why and I'm not mad at the workers and I would never dare say something to them. It is not their fault. And I will never ever take out my frustrations on an employee that cannot do anything about it. Now, if an employee is rude to me or something, that's a whole other story because I am not a rude lady or I try not to be anyway. Anyway, who cares? Um, Yes, so I need to see if they have any more stuff because I don't really have enough for a haul. <sighs> I'll do a haul, but you know, whatever. And then I got to come back here, get my videos done, get maybe some editing done. And then at one o'clock, I'm leaving to go meet my cousin and we're going to go on a bike ride and then I'll be back. So let's get to the Dollar Tree and to Target. Yes, yes. All right, we're back from Target. And I'll show you what I got. I need to get out my protein bar box. I keep my protein bars in the fridge. These are what I have left of the MCT bars, which I love. However, this season and this, this time of year, they, um, I'm just putting them together in here. Here, I'll show you. This time of year, they're only doing summer shipping and it costs like $50, so I'm not buying them. Um, I got some of these Stinger waffles. Now, this is definitely as a diabetic, not something I eat on the regular. Therefore, when I ride my bike for more than an hour and a half to two hours, they do have 21 carbohydrates in them. So this is not like a snack. That is an energy boost for me. And then I got these, I do eat for snacks. This is a keto bar. The macros on here, if you can see that are pretty good. They have 10 grams of protein, 14 fat, 14 carbohydrates, but seven are alcohol. So you can subtract those sugar alcohols because they're sweetening it with erythritol, I believe. Yes, erythritol. So, um, yeah, I can subtract that. So each bar has seven carbs, which isn't bad, especially when I use them as like a meal replacement on when I'm on the go. So when I come home, I unpack everything and then I just put this in the refrigerator and that way nothing gets melty or warm or anything of that nature. I picked up some treats. Wellington is loving these creamy dairy flavor. And they're actually, they've been upstairs in my office. I keep some up there for them. Um, I picked up uh, pet food, which I'll take them when I gotta put that away. And then this carpet cleaner is the bomb. I'm telling you this, the foam, not the liquid, the foam. You spray it on, you let it sit, you scrub it with a good brush, and then you vacuum it up. And it works great on stains. Much better than the same formula in liquid. I swear by this. And it's 22 ounces for like $5. So, and this week there's a dollar off um, coupon in the Target app for that. So I picked that up. All right, we're gonna go, let us go. Let us pray, friends, and put, I'm trying to carry you. We're gonna come over here, and we have a kind of a mess going on over here, but we'll, we'll make it work. Oh, at Costco, I got a sample. I actually use their Ultra Shine dishwasher tabs, and they're great. This is the bag I use. 
I keep my Viking snacks in here and on the side, I've showed you this before, I have my earbuds, sunblock, an extra headband. And then in here I have uh, more sunblock, all my different snacks like meat sticks, jelly beans. And then I will put for today's ride a waffle in here because I'm riding later. So let's go over here. And here we have, in this container here, these are my fitness exercise snackies. Except for these are the what I use to make adult popsicles. That's in here. But I've got oil, drink mixes. These are um, sugar-free drink mixes. Propel. Lots of electrolytes. That's just some coffee that I had for backpacking. Tuna for backpacking. These are... Um, Protein wafers, the macros are pretty good in here. This has 15 grams of protein, nine fat, 14 carbohydrates. So it's a little higher in carb, but when I, again, these are workout food. This is not stuff that I just eat because. And then I have some coffee down in here in a little container. I stuck my waffles in here. I've got different peanut butters, meat sticks. This is just really all my grab and go snacks, jelly beans for when I exercise. So I need a couple of those to replenish in my cycling bag. Uh, some jellies, I'll put those in here. Um, yeah, and my noon. Let's take fruit punch this time. And that is, oh, and I got tons of Propel. This is all great for when I work out. And that bag just stays in my car and whatever, you know, I take it out when I ride and whatever I need, I have. Uh, this is magnesium water in case I need it for like cramping and stuff. Peanut butter. And there's also almond butter around here somewhere, but they'll put that away. That basket. And then this basket is the animal treats and food. So what I do, these are the dog treats when she's here. I have some opened already, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna give Alex these because he can't have his crunchy stuff right now. You know, because his mouth surgery. This is greenies, They're, they were for Alex, his teeth because I knew he needed his teeth cleaned. It just was a matter of getting him in to do it. But Wellington also needs it, but he doesn't love those treats. So I mix it in with his regular treats. And then this is cuts they won't eat. So I put that away. And then what I do, it's just that's easier for me to fill up this bucket with their wet food and then in the morning I can just grab a container of their wet food and they share. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit because I did get them seafood and meat today. I was lucky and my store had both. Now we have one more container and then I gotta find a cat to give this to. Um, over here. I might just throw that one single container away. And then this is what was left from their last case. They go through, in a month, they eat one of these twice a day. So two a day. So they'll go through 60 of these a month. Hi, Alex. So pretty much one of these and a half. My boys eat well, let me tell you. I think they eat better than I do most most weeks. But this is all he'll eat. This is Wellington and Alex. She said it's better for his teeth. I'm just picking up trash. Ugh. Yeah, I just throw that one way. Hi, huh, sweetheart. Ugh. So yeah, I will. 
put that away. I will show you. Alex absolutely loves these and he's gonna get one here in a minute because he hasn't had anything yummy in a while. Right, baby? Yeah. But he's feeling much better from his surgery. So let me put this away in the cabinet and this will be their food for the next, you know, month. That'll feed them for a month. So I budget for them like $50 a month for cat food. I mean, that's for two cats. I don't think that's excessive. All right, let's see if they want a treat. <laughs> 